place for Nazis, my children. There are kinds of horror we like, my children. And then there are things from the real world that we wish to see die. So, let's see some Nazis killed by monsters, shall we? It is southern France in 1944, and a group of French resistance fighters find themselves attacked by some kind of wild boar. While nearby, Colonel Carl Wilhelm Scherer and his troops are driving along a road, only to be ambushed by members of the 101st Airborne and their new CO, Sergeant Jack DeLacy. They take Scherer and a few other members of his entourage prisoner, hoping they can interrogate him on details concerning a new German offensive in the Ardennes. But on their way back, something runs across the road and forces their vehicle to crash, killing a few of the Americans, but leaving enough to hold their hostages. Fortunately, they're only a few miles from a town, so they figure they can hole up there for the night once they arrive. Scherer tries to make small talk with DeLacy, who wants nothing of what the Nazi is peddling. Though Scherer does point out that given how DeLacy clearly was a recent replacement, perhaps his men are not so loyal to him if their situation were to turn around. They won't have to wait long for that though. On the way, they find slaughtered cattle and people eventually arriving in the town and finding no one about. Soon, the sounds of roars fill the area, and one of the American troops is grabbed by something that lifts him into the air. These strange creatures might be zombies, though it is clearly a more mutated form if that is the case. Sharper, elongated teeth, wider jaws, and, well, the whole grabbing a man and lifting him into the air thing is kind of weird for zombies. Then again, we have seen superhero zombies before. Maybe this is where the hunger gospel ended up after Marvel zombies? Still, like zombies, a headshot will take them out. Though that is small comfort to all the troops who are taken and devoured by the creature. Sure gets shotter! And they drag him to a nearby castle, where survivors from the town are holding up. The townspeople are naturally upset at the presence of the German soldiers, so this being a castle, they're locked in a dungeon. Scherer, however, will need a blood transfusion. Their only hope is a clinic at the center of town. They do need to keep him alive if they hope to get information out of him later. On the subject of information, one of the townspeople becomes infected by the same plague that turned them into monsters, and they decide to lock him in another dungeon so they can observe, perhaps gain some knowledge on how to fight off the creatures. Unfortunately, the Germans do not stay in the same area. With the need to get the blood, and the need to protect the townspeople, the Nazi troops are recruited to assist. While they're out, they take as many supplies as they can, raiding bread and medicine, the recruited sniper able to take out some of the attacking beasts. With Scherer back up to snuff, he points out that the Americans come from a new world. In the old one, villages can disappear overnight with no one learning of their fight. With no other choice, they must form an alliance with them. The war for now is over, but it will resume once the crisis is past. Down in the cell, they learn that the creatures sense things by heat. A torch fire is so distracting to them that they do not even care about the people. They make a plan, repairing an old car and attaching a wagon to it. And of course the Nazis remind us that they are the worst when one tries to assault one of the French peasants, unsuccessfully thanks to one of the soldiers. Unfortunately, we also learn that Sergeant DeLacy has been infected by the creatures, meaning he only has about 16 hours before he becomes like them. They plan to distract the creatures with Molotov cocktails, but when one of the Nazis tries to escape on his own, the ensuing fight allows the creatures to breach their defenses. DeLacy sacrifices himself to buy them some time to get away, having earlier instructed Scherer to kill him if he should start to change, which he is only happy to do. They make it out, though lose some people in the escape attempt, even crossing a bridge and setting it ablaze with some of the creatures on it. They reach American soil, and Scherer begins writing a letter while in custody, to whom is not certain, but what he does have on him is a red liquid, probably blood, and possibly the source of this whole calamity. For now, the creatures are killed. One group of monsters slain. Although there are always those that need the same treatment. Especially when marching under a swastika. Ah! <laughs>